friends, this is my for third layout for these little mixed mini uh, <laughs> journals that I made. These ones for travel, little mini travel journals that I made to send to a few friends um, that I want to send you. I have their names covered, so then it's a surprise. But I'm gonna. The reason why I made these books is that I can do a few layouts, and then they can do a few layouts, and then they can keep the book and just have a bit of my art. As a cute little surprise, I wanted to send this mini, kind of like a journal letter, except for it doesn't have to go back and forth or through a bunch of other people. So it's just a personal journal letter, what I made for them. Um, to, And then they can keep the pages the way they are, um, add to them and that kind of thing. So I am making my second layout today. And I've decided to work over here on this page. So what I'm going to do today, I grabbed a handful of um, stamps randomly, didn't look at them, just grabbed them out, and there's just a few of them, and this is small, this is a very small journal, but very fun. And I thought, well, here we go. We're just going to go with that. I'm doing a little bit of gesso. I have on the side somewhere, where do I have them? Did I put them away? I have on the side somewhere my little papers I've been using for these mini journals. My chair is going twisty, and uh, that way I can keep my pages somewhat tidy. These pages on here turn out a little wonky, and they're kind of sliding around, whatever, but they're fun. So, let's see here. See, when I open it up, see, sometimes I keep having to trim, but they're wonky a little bit here. So I'm going to trim that. There we go. But, whatever. They're just fun pages, fun little tidbits of art to play around. It's good practice for like a little ATC size art and that kind of thing. I'm going to throw some gesso on and then I'm going to work from there. I have my chosen stamps, don't have any ideas, I'm just going to put them on and play. And this is going to be art from the heart but with a playful twist and just going for it and playing and not putting... Um, putting heart in it but not too much thought in the sense of thinking myself through I'm just going as I go so there's oh I put no, put the gesso on the wrong bucket here or my thing but it, it you know you can make art off the cuff and still mean be being meaningful so that's what I'm trying to prove here I suppose here it is I'm going to dry it up and obviously I don't have my stamps in any order because it says dreams come in a size too big so we can grow into them this is an old Stampin' Up! from 2007. I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I do have on the side one of my stamps that my mother got me. And she's sleeping, so I might just put that because she could be dreaming. I have no idea. I'm going with it. And then I just have these other ones coming with it. So those don't really remind me of anything that's dreaming or, or you know, a size that's big. So let's see if I can just kind of come up with a little bit of a, oh, hopefully I didn't wiggle that out of my spot, uh, come up with a little bit of a decent idea here. A dreaming, sleeping, dreaming page. There we go. Come up with something. And I will do this one, I think. Um, I think I'm going to do it higher up. No. Maybe right here. Just kind of trying to figure out what I want to put there. Maybe dream something she's dreaming. I don't know. Just some doodles. I don't know. And it's a little off the page. Well, do I want to keep that? I think I'm going to gesso over that. And then I'll just have a project, but that was a little too wonky, so I'm just going to put it back on, just a little bit more in there. It might be a little too in, but that's okay. I just didn't want it off the page, and it was a little off the page. So there we go. Fix that up with a little gesso. And then, voila. So now I've got to make her a little dreamland. Let's see here. Um, so I do definitely have to put some of these... In better order. They weren't in order when I got them too much, but 
um, I think it's a little crazy. I think I'm going to go with a little bit of a fern here. And this is the why I have the page go over. Oh, too much, too far. There we go. Kind of some leaf thing happened in there. Just playing with it, trying to make a kind of a dream world. Since this is the one I grabbed, I could use any stamps. I just wanted to, one thing I wanted to do was just use some of the stamps I haven't been using. So, I'm just trying to do that. So these are stamps I haven't been really using. And... Now I'm going to use them. In which ways, I do not know. It's just coming to me as I go. So now I'm just going to put some color to this. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. But there we go. Let that dry or do a little heat splash on that. Okay, so I grabbed my um, metallic lusters and it's cosmic blue. Grabbing my water brush and I'm going to use that, I think, as my back background. I'm going to start off with my background today. And I've got some water in my water brush. This is really metallic and got some really nice um, glitter and kind of stuff, shimmery in there. So i going to use that. Just play with it and do like you know, use it as a water color or whatever, just to stain the background, whatever it's called. That's what I'm doing. Whatever, just painting it. And I want to make the, I envision really bright yellow flowers. So I think I'm going to do that with maybe some red or orange centers. So yellow. Yeah, I think with red centers. Um, I think I did another background that was blue too, but in a different, with a different color or paint. So, <laughs> but blue is a good background. So you can use these um, metallic lusters as just like watercolor paint or any kind of thing that you're using your water brush for, water crayon type of thing. And I like them. I like them a lot. I really like the, using the shimmer as like a paint like this. So pretty. There we go. Shimmering away. This would be a fun little project, you know, when you have a little journal like this to go on travel, like a little travel journal or something too. I mean these ones are made for some people, or I made them in mind, and that's but it'd be fun to have I could still do these when I'm you know, waiting in the parking lot for somebody to come to the car, you know, when the kids are running and, you know, doing something or whatever. Hmm, I'm going to use this polished coral. Ooh, creamy. I'm going to dab it on there just barely. Ooh, this is such a pretty color. I'm going to do it on her face. Ooh, very pretty. I hope you guys can see that. Probably not. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm being, I was going to put just on the, the pillow I thought was going to be pinker. This is really pretty. I really like this. So what I'm going to do is I think I can add a little thicker around the shaded areas. I don't think I used this one before. It's my first time using this particular color. I'm really loving that. Can you guys even see that color? It's just so pretty because my focusing is really not great on this right now until I get a new one. My webcam. I think I might have to hold it up for you guys. Isn't that pretty? And this one's called Polished Coral Metallic Lusters. 
Mm, love it. So that's that. And I'm just touching it now on the shaded areas. And my brush is pretty dry. I'm not adding moisture. I'm in fact wiping the moisture off when I think it's wet. And my girls could be a little quiet, please. There we go. Little nails, little lips. That was one color. Just very watery and light for the rest of the face. I love that. I'm going to be definitely using this color more often. Okay, I think I'm getting too much. I'm wiping it off on a cloth here. So you guys don't see that. There we go. Just want to dab a little more on the lips. Okay, I'm loving it. Adding, I wish I had a yellow, like a yellow yellow in this, but I don't. So, I think I'm going to grab, what do I have on hand? I'm going to grab a water, one of these. I do have watercolors up, up above me too, but this is right here. So I'm just going to go yellow. I might actually want to add the watercolor or the proper water crayons. Not proper. They're different. These are good. Just a brighter, but these are doing good. And then I'm going to touch a red with probably my my uh, Posca pen, which makes it all mixed media, right? All these different layers. I think. I think so. Here's a brown. My acorns. Why I have acorns? I don't know. Like I said, it was just in what I grabbed. <laughs> Just in what all I grabbed in the stamps. I told you guys I wasn't choosing. Oh, I'll put some brown in her hair as well. I wasn't going to choose um, particular stamps. I'm just going to grab and work with what I grabbed. Just to make it more challenging and fun. Now I think... Grab my green... My Elegant Emerald. This one's a little bit more drier, but sometimes they dry out, but you just add a little moisture and they come right back. I was always worried about that at first. I didn't really know the product, but it just needs a little moisture if it dries out. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And here we go with this. Holding it up. I've been doing this a lot lately because my camera's not <laughs> focusing properly. But holding my projects up. Isn't that crazy? Who can paint like this? I guess I can. In a pinch. I'm going to do a little green around here. Maybe as a... Not in all of them. This is a highlight or something, or low light, or whatever. Can you see that? Crazy. There. Now, I'm going to... Ooh, i got to choose a color for... How about golden pillow? Is this gold? White frost. Ooh. I don't know. I did put a little bit of that base color on her. And I did dry. Okay, let's put... Oh, that's creamy. Let's put a little white frost. I wasn't expecting it to be creamy. It looked hard. I should have checked. All right, I'm putting a little bit of this on here. I really like that. I'm putting a lot. I said a little bit. I really did say a little bit. Can you see that beautiful pearly color? White frost. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm kind of leaving it really thick. I'm really loving this color. So I'm definitely I'm definitely loving this color. I'm going to put a little bit 
on the opposite where I didn't put the kind of where I didn't put the green. It's just gonna shine a little bit off. Not like too white, but just a little glimmer. I like it. Okay, look at that. Can you see it on the flowers? Can I move it? There you go. Can you move it that way there. There we go. That is my color. This is what I have so far. And oh no, not that. This will get so far. I'm gonna do my red Posca pen in here to make it pop. Fun, cute little page layout. And like I said, it kind of gives you some practice for, you know, some ATCs or whatever else. So I am just doing a few little dots. The page is going up, so I'm smearing those dots, which is not great. Doing some doodling which I wish you guys could see more of, but it's kind of high up. This is as low as I can go without knocking my camera over really too. Just going around these little red dots that I made. This is my dream page for her, so I can go wonky with it. I don't think I have gone white edges yet. So I'm going to do that with this page. White ink. Scribble, scribble. Why not? Do a little highlights right where her eyelids are. This just seems to be a great little page so far. It's not showing you guys much, is it? There's my white scribbles. Pretty happy with this page. Um, I think I just want to scribble a little bit more on the edges. I know I got a little bit of white, but maybe just a little fine scratching on the edges. We'll make it just what I need to feel like it's done. I don't know. I don't know how much more I need to feel it's done. I probably should have waited for this particular stamp, Dream. Dreams come in size too big so we can grow in them because it's just not quite dark. But I'm going over it see how it works and I'm at the big here so we can grow I mean to can and then grow is a handwriting one this is a nice little pen I think it's a dollar store pen but it's a nice really thin one I like it and there we go. I did. Ah, come on. Mr. Focus. There we go. So I did over that. And over this sides here. It's a little harder to write perhaps on this shimmer. Or it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's just me not knowing how to do anything. No, it is a little bit harder. It doesn't want to write so well on the shimmering the lusters. But I think I am done this one. So I hope you guys like this one. Little mini layout. And give the book a try. Check out my other videos where I made the book and how I made it. Um, recycled stuff, um, unused stuff, just to get through some stuff in your stash, stuff that's been lying around for a while. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be really 
fun project for you guys. This is a really neat summer project because it's small and you can work in small doses. So, because summer is like all about soaking up the sun, reading, enjoying life, and um, maybe doing a little crafting on the side. Because summer sometimes we are not in the house crafting all as much as we do in the winter, perhaps. So yeah, that's about it, my friends. Hope you like it. Don't forget to craft like a duck, and I will talk to you guys later. That's done. Another page. In my journals here that I'm done. So, my mini journals. Just grabbing some washi tape. <laughs> washi tape for this name. So, make yourself a fun little mini summer journal that you can pass on to somebody and share. It's fun. Talk to you guys later. Bye.